Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. This is a special bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pumnarao. Last episode, we took care of a bunch of stuff, and uh, I uh, upgraded some of my ships, things like that. So, we're doing pretty well in that regard. Now, uh, I have relatively little cash left. So, let's just get started. I also need more reputation anyway. Anyway, this one will be Objects in Motion. Tuesday, 14th of May, 1782. It seems we've lured the now-combined French-American forces out to open sea where we stand a better chance. Unfortunately, the rest of the fleet has been engaged elsewhere and you will have to engage the main French fleet accompanied with ships of the line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of course, the main fleet is always somewhere else. All right. Uh, let's uh, send out our heaviest ships in the rear of uh, the front uh, with the Mercedes. And in the rear, we'll have some of the smaller ships that will later on assist. Uh, uh, we're going to send the Pearl. If only the Pearl was like in Pirates of the Caribbean. Holy cow, that was a good ship. I've always dreamed of the day when a mighty fleet of ships under my command would sail forth for the glory of king and country. Today that dream has become true. My forward line approaches the enemies, and the giant sails of French line ships are visible far into the distance. The odds are not in our favor, but my men are ready and prepared. Our reconnaissance reports indicate that the French have at least one ship of the line, reinforced by a rebel light squadron. It is better to keep our light forces at a distance from the enemy, just in case they have to pull back under the protection of the main line. It is unlikely to score a decisive victory, but we can hold them long enough until we retreat when night comes. Let's pause. So, uh, let, let's just uh, take a look at uh, the uh, French ships here. So, these are... Uh, from what I can see, this already must be a, a pretty big one. Uh, this is just, just trash, really. <laughs> and then we have two ships of the line, uh, I think, here. Le Hector and Le Palmier. Seems like uh, we can add two more trophies to our, our list. But uh, I would not mind capturing the Flora as well. It, it's probably a fifth rate, given the low number of units on there. It's 280. Um, and given that Le Petit Patre is a, uh, a fourth rate, I guess uh, it, probably a fifth rate it is. Either way, I do think that I'll have a, a pretty decent uh, tactic here. First of all, I'm going to sandwich all of these guys and... Uh, Showing, show them the meaning of pain before uh, I'll come barging in with these other ships and uh, of course I'll leave these uh, yeah let, let's let's sail this way it's a little bit slower but uh, yeah this this will be a, a great engagement let's uh, let's get going here and uh, let's see we're picking up speed here they must they will go pretty slowly I think and uh, for them to, to get squeezed you probably will not enjoy it that much now I will need a lot of reputation in order to man all those uh, ships of the line of course but uh, look uh, I do think that uh, this is a so it's a trophy run here for us. <laughs> uh, okay, so they're they're actually a bit faster than uh, than I expected, but that's okay. I, I might actually even have to turn. Those ships of the line are are pretty far, far away here. Uh, they're they're actually too fast in the sense that it, it does not give me that favorable of a position for the moment. Especially if I am to go and capture them. Uh, but who knows. Okay, 
Okay, so they got to the rear of that volley. They're actually going for the mast. Interestingly enough. Maybe I can even just dock with the Aragante. Let's just see how that works. We're, we're actually pretty close already. So I actually do feel... well at that let's go a little bit further and then try to halt if not if this does not succeed it likely does not no and I can always use these with the grape shot here maybe not attack our own ship no. let's see how this is gonna work out I need to turn though Okay, let's uh, dock it, and let's have these guys now turn. That's got to be pretty rough here. Where are you? Okay, you're boarding. That's great. That would make this, I think, relatively easy. Turning is going to be pretty tricky. Maybe you could actually attack La Sensible while we're going uh, over here. This speed should be reasonable. Ideally, these guys will have been uh, taken care of. The, uh, let's send the minimal. Oh, let's get you out. Okay, so they're at least taking some damage. I have to wait until the floor is out. Uh, obviously, that's kind of like that. I already sent the Aragante and the Velasco further up. But uh, together, actually, they should have a pretty reasonable chance of dealing with those two ships of the line. And... Uh, I do think that Le Petit Patre also should be fine there, as long as the Mercedes gets out. So these guys are definitely way too powerful for the Mercedes to handle. Definitely. Uh, so I'll have to let uh, Le Petit Patre deal with it. While our ships of the line now go and engage there. I actually want you on half sails because I want them to be relatively... Uh, close to each other. These are now actually really small ships by this stage of the game, interestingly enough. Uh, but I think the Flore will be able to get out. And you're going at 9, you're going at 4. That's That's good. Okay. Let's turn with you guys. Le Petit Patre should be going relatively fast now. And I do think that maybe we can catch the Therese. If I can capture most of these guys, that would be just be exceptionally beneficial here. Uh, you're using regular cannon, alright. And I want you to focus on them with regular cannon too. The Piggot and Mustang are small fry. Okay, in order to hook on to the Therese... to work my way towards that ship. Let's go even slower with the Aragante. And with Le Petit Patre as well. I'll try to board the Therese here as well to try and take that ship. Pretty much I'm just looking to capture all of the enemy ships here. Let's just grape shot lower there. Okay, they've almost caught up to the Hector. 
The one unfortunate thing is that... Uh, we're pretty much uh, on the other side here. So what I want to do is I want to go and hook onto them and try to get at them from both sides and then hit the Hector that way. I will... Ah, you escaped. Cha. Okay, so this will likely not work, but... Uh, let's see if we can slow it down. sides and oh, I wasn't using grape shot oops my bad but I do have two ships there now which also seems to be a problem for Le Palmier okay so I guess the Therese escaped let's try to actually get at it anyway okay they're boarding from both sides that's great let's go there so the Hector should be doing very poorly here, getting boarded from two sides, and then we can almost immediately go to Le Palmier, which has just decided to just stand there, do nothing. These numbers go down at an insane rate. It's just, you know, they're down. <laughs> the Petit Patre is going after the th uh, that ship there. Ouch. That has got to hurt. And let's cut loose and let's immediately go for the next ship. Um, the Hector can try to move out, actually. Well, uh, I want to set big sails with these other two. Le Palmier is the, the last challenge to be dealt with here. You know what, let's, let's actually go half sail. We could actually go for La Sensible as well. Um, with both of these, I'll just go for very slow sails. Mm, they will be squeezed. Okay, this is a bit strange this way. Uh, they're on fire. Uh -oh. That's not what I want. Hopefully they can put off the fire. Maybe they can. Okay, so they'll get the La Sensible pretty handily, I think. Mercedes can come back. Sometimes I'm just a little bit shocked how they can still kind of like get away. No, come on. All oh, right, I need to slow speed. Oops. Alright, so you'll still have to try and, and get at them. Unfortunately, I was unable to quickly get there. Let's try a, a new uh, new approach. Ah, we're boarding on that one. Okay, good, good, good. About here. You should be capable of doing it now. Board. Maybe pick up some speed. Ish. Ah, I completely missed it. Okay, well... Uh, what? I, 
Why would you be running water? I will hold them here, both of them. Let's see if the Velasco can be saved. Holy cow, I lost a lot of men there suddenly. Go, 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 go. Holy cow. Yeah, let, let's see if I can, uh, can keep it. Because, uh... Yeah, that's fine. The floor is retreated. That's good. Halt. Get these guys in there. Sweet. Okay. That's going well. They haven't sunk actually yet. another ship down then we have the mustang down here which is left in the therese those are pretty much the only ships that they have remaining now uh let's get the petite patria out there as well basically being attacked from then three sides you don't have to wait for the group Should hopefully help. Velasco at least no longer has problems with their pump, so they might be able to stay afloat out there. And until Le Petit Patre comes back. We'll, uh, we'll have these four ships to, to fire at them. At least we will have a, a lot of attacks. I mean, they, they will too, but... Uh, The uh, goal here, well, maybe I can even just hook on to him as well. I do have more men. So who knows? They might break free though. We'll see. They're actually being blocked by these guys. Interestingly enough. I'm uh, I'm surprised there. Seems like the Velasco is still taking water, but they're not down. Yeah, it's impossible for them to sail against the wind like that. 
unsurprisingly. But they're getting there very slowly. They are moving up. So Okay, the Velasco is at least no longer sinking. Holy cow. I almost lost that ship because I just didn't react that or fast enough at least. Okay, they should be able to board. The Pearl is getting in there so although they're almost dead. Go for the minimum, cut loose. Oh my god, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. We have to deal with the pigot. <laughs> and here I was thinking that uh, I'd be done. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Let's have all of these just anchor. No, you, you can cut loose, you're fine. Because uh, I actually don't think any of these need to keep sail. They're getting away! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's be up here. So, if you turn and then kindly go in that direction. Man, I should have sent some guys in there, obviously. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. All right, all right, come on. <laughs> it's just... You're going up, up against three ships of the line. Yeah, we have slightly less, less guys in there. I know that. Let's only use grape uh, because uh, I actually uh, I want to capture it. Uh, the rest of my ships, you should be. Anchor. I'll be going uh, full speed here. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going for all this microing. I know it's it's a bit uh, a bit weird at this. That's actually uh, a slow down because I actually kind of need to board. And uh, uh, well, I, I don't want these ships to crash into each other. The ship is uh, very agile. That's kind of the thing. The uh, tricky part about it is that it's super agile. That will make it a bit challenging for my ships to actually anchor onto it. I just go really slow for the moment. With them, but not with you. Let's see. Hopefully by moving in this way. Kind of need to trick them into getting close to my ship. Uh, which obviously is, is 
coke to be quite tricky, I think. Let's go for those full sails. With 137 against these guys, I, I do think we should be fine. They're also already kind of shocked. Also, technically, we should be able to shoot from above, uh, which should help me quite a bit, I think. Oh, we're still losing quite a few men, but nothing too serious. You'll probably fight to the last man. And there we have it. So all the enemies have been killed and or captured. Uh, we got some nice ship of the line. We took a bit more damage than I would have liked, but uh, ultimately I guess we're okay. And if I want to field more of those ship of the lines, I'm going to need that uh, prestige and stuff. Anyway, let's repair them first. Costs a lot. We'll need to replace all that manpower. Needs crew, needs crew, needs crew. Trove, 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 trove. Okay. So the Papadame is a third rate. Le Hector is also a third rate. And then Le Palmier. There's a difference between this Bellona class, which uh, seems to be even more expensive than these, just by default. Why is that? These are fielding nine pounders instead of the four pounders. And more so these are 24th and these are 32 pounders let's add the hector to the fleet which seems to be the more most powerful of the three it will need crew that's fine le pommier is a third rate as well so we have these two left as, sh as ship of the line the floor is a fifth rate interesting okay we got two fifth rates three fifth rates and this let's send you to the admiralty and let's send at the very least these two to the admiralty as well now we're at 15 mm. i do need smaller ships as well but for me to get the flora already that's 25 uh, let's just start with giving a bit of crew to the Hector as well. Uh, they also need a captain. The officer. 60 is pretty good. 52 will not likely find a better one either way. So I'm just generally picking the highest or close to highest anyway we'll get another ransom i would really like to get that three reputation yeah actually i would uh huh interesting here i thought that with uh that mission done uh huh Objects in motion. Huzzah! The Royal Navy has once again proven victorious over the French. We truly rule the waves. Blockade. Disp yeah. Um, well, we'll read this or do this uh, soon. Um, let's go for this first. So, crew training spree, pretty decent as well. Hiring crew is cheaper. That's just mostly money related. I'd still like to keep uh, this casualty replenishment going. I, uh, I really appreciate my men being in good shape. So, uh, yeah, I, I would like that. Uh, let's get these guys back up to full. Like I said, we, we kind of lost a lot of men, and that's pretty rough. But, uh, ooh. Oh, yeah, I, I really like me... Uh, uh, the boarding act actually um, because we really want to get those ships anyhow it's a bit sad though that this Mercedes and the San Giovanni which were 
doing so well before. They're kind of garbage right now. Oh well. Anyway, the same applies for all these seventh rates that I still kind of need to use. Uh, the pearl took a bit of a hit, but barely. These are the fire fire ships that I have for a rainy day. These unrated cutters. Um, okay, so we don't actually need more more men on the ground currently. Uh, this already puts it on an overload, the Hector. So let's actually uh, take a look at the research here. So. I actually let's see about these. Uh, I haven't really invested that much into additional guns, but uh, less armor and HP and more capacity. That's the naval architecture studies. Let's go. That's very expensive, but I do think that is uh, quite useful, actually, as well. I don't have to research uh, supply wagons yet. Uh, I, I would like to once we get another very big naval operation, but uh, under the current circumstances, I actually don't need to do that just about yet. That's cutting sails. Oh, it's just uh, sail and mast HP. All right, so as for the Hector now, I want to get, ooh, this is, uh, this is expensive actually. Let's start, because I think this will actually help quite a bit as well, just with lightweight gun carriages. That will allow me at the very least to get to optimal. And I, yeah, this is super expensive. That's okay, though. Oh, wow. They really have a big max screw. Okay. Ooh, I can't even do it with streamlined hull at this point. That would not cut it. Lightweight hull is really cheap. Can I get to max this way? Yes, I can. 980. Not enough weapons. All right, let's let's uh, cancel that for a sec, because it means that I need to switch up weapons here. UFC surface musket and bayonet, seven hundred fifty. How about you? You just have sea surface muskets, and you as well. So technically, if I switch you up. No, I I can't do it. I'll just have to live with the fact that the Hector, I, I cannot get more crew than just this 650 for the moment. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll just leave it at that for now. Can I get boarding too? Level 2 boarding. Probably super expensive here as well. Minus 13,000, yeah. Okay, let's let's do it. Uh, so we will actually not get that many additional uh, stuff from this. So I guess this blockade is the final mission for this stage. Um, yeah, whatever with your fifth rates. I don't care. The L... I still don't actually want to sell any of those either. The th interesting thing is, is that, oh yeah, no, never mind. Uh, yeah, I have two more third rates and a fifth rate that I can can use. All right. Um, I will deal with uh, or start with blockade in the next episode. I did some repairs and things like that on this one. So uh, we're looking pretty good. I'm uh, 
the the interesting thing about this campaign indeed is that now that we're kind of established it seems that the missions do become progressively easier with each mission um so in that sense it is interesting to see with this hard campaign that uh you uh that it does if you don't scale it indeed it'll gradually become easier over time now it does though seem like the catalyst at least that's how i feel like um the catalyst for this is the first time you can capture a ship of the line if you do that and you capture it then any subsequent missions become so much additionally easier that you can it, it's kind of like a snowball effect because in that first mission where it's really hard to capture that ship of the line then you get an extra bonus mission and in that extra bonus mission with your ship of the line you can actually capture a second ship of the line uh, which means that instead of if you fail the first time to get a ship of the line then basically you, you will not get that second one either and I feel that um, at that point, the first time you might be able to get a ship of the line is here um, in a previous mission. So not the one where, you're, where we had those two with uh, the Hector and this other ship, but the one before that where we ambushed them. Then you would have a slightly better chance to get a ship of the line there because you're a bit you know, stronger. So it would be a, a bit, little bit easier. But even then, you would only then be able to get your ship off the line and you would have to again face up against two in this mission and then you might not be able to capture another one. Maybe you would, but then only now you'll start gearing up. Uh, whereas because we're, we were already in that favorable position, we um, are now uh, much better positioned to uh, capture any subsequent ships of, of the line. Of course, we've only gotten third rates yet and we haven't seen any second or first rate ships of the line uh, currently. But with the way things are going, I do feel like we'll be uh, geared towards capturing it should such, uh, something like that occur. And um, because we now have the Hector, which is the... Um, it, which is an even bigger ship. It can take on more crew for a total of 980 instead of the 750 that we had before. Uh, yeah, we're going to be at an even uh, bigger advantage when that ever, uh, actually comes to pass. Um, either way, we'll be dealing with the blockade of Savannah on the next uh, mission. Savannah has uh, been captured by us. And uh, we're, we're using it as a base of operations. Now, uh, for me, uh, uh, hindsight is always 50-50. But I, I, I would think it would be very rough for the English to hold on to the, to the Americas as a, uh, as a colony with uh, so many of them um, you know, trying to, to get away now uh, or to uh, become independent. Now, I do think that... Um, Maybe if they played it more politically, they would have been able to hold on to them for a lot longer. Ultimately, I think that the Americas would always want to have independence at some point. So whether it will come now or maybe in 10, 20, 50 years, uh, I, I think that with the age of colonialism gradually declining and more and more... Uh, former colonies wanting independence uh, the americas are more and more likely to want independence themselves as well and it's it's an untenable situation for the british they can try to hold on for a while and even if they do have loyalist support currently uh where you know they are able to uh shift people's opinions back to wanting to be a colony they make reparations that they pay less taxes etc etc let them have a same parliament things like that I think eventually it would not matter. It would it just delay the inevitable. Uh, but either way, we're, we're here. So Savannah was captured by the British and is used as the base of operations to fight against the rebels. Now, apparently they've blockaded us uh, and no more uh, supplies can get to Savannah to the land forces. And that is obviously a big problem uh, because uh, <laughs> we're going to need to break through we're going to do that on the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. 
uh, do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Special shout out to all my Patreon supporters: Spoon Around, Dungeon Pastor, Thomas Hoftrillion, Thomas B. Marshall, C. Data, and Swords. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.